Welcome back to Motivational Mondays with myself, Lemar Gowar. Welcome to have you guys back for another week, man. It's the top of June. We got another exciting week for you, for you guys, another exciting month for us, man. So let's get into it. Hope you guys liked the last video. Please don't forget to comment, like, um, subscribe, and share with your friends, man. It's a beautiful thing we got going on, man. Let's get into it. Yeah, so today's topic is called, It's No Escape. And when I say it's no escape, I'm referring to your past. See, our past is something that we can't run from. It's something that we we can't block out. And it's something that when we get to a certain level of comfort or a certain level of success, we think that it don't affect us. And it's just simply not true. See, our past is something that it shapes us, it molds us into the person that we are today. So... The things that we have grown to learn in our past, it it, it shapes our mentality, it shapes our, our thought processes, and it shapes it could shape our parenting um, processes. Um, see, there are a lot of things in life that we fight. A couple of things being we fight social media, the images that we see, we fight um, the TV. We fight the internet because it's you know it's constantly trying to tell us what's perfect, what to think, how to feel, what to say, what we should do, you know. But one of the biggest things that I found that is the hardest battle of all is fighting yourself. And when I say fighting yourself, meaning we haven't properly faced our past, we haven't properly faced what has happened to us. So we go about our life thinking that we have, but knowing that we didn't. So we, the, the negative things that has happened to us, we push it to the side, thinking that it's just going to go away. It never goes away. The pain of your past never goes away. But if you learn to deal with it, you learn how to handle it, that's when you'll be able to, to progress from what has happened to you. You know, so sometimes we can we can think of a situation that has hurt us or a unfavorable situation and and we can actually take ourselves in our mind and actually relive those moments. And uh the problem with that is if we keep reliving or rehashing old moments and it keeps affecting us daily or monthly or weekly, uh eventually it's gonna be harder and harder to move on. Sometimes in life, you just got to say, hey, it happened. I got to move on. I forgive myself. I forgive who was in the situation who have hurt me, and I got to move on. See, when you forgiving, you not only, when you forgiving, you're learning to, you forgive and you let go, but you never forget the lesson that was learned in the situation. Now, when you forgiving, you're not doing it for them. You're doing it for yourself because it allows you to release negativity within yourself. It allows you to release stress within yourself. It, it allows you to to move on and not be held down by an anchor. And you're trying to go forward, but you got weights put uh, pulling you back. You know, so you must face your you must face your um, problems because you can't outrun it. You, I mean, you must face your past because you can't outrun it because it's like a shadow. No matter how fast you run. It would always it will always be there you know and the little story about myself is i had to forgive god and i know it sounds crazy like how you what you mean forgive god well as a nine-year-old kid um my mother was in a um really bad car accident and it left her unable to walk unable to talk unable to feed herself so she lays up in a nursing home 24 7 um she gets fed through a bag so throughout my Middle school years, high school years, college years, at sporting events, you see moms there supporting their supporting their boys, and I never had it. So for a long time, I was angry, man, angry. I was bitter because um, I, I didn't have that. So whenever things didn't go right in my life, I found a way to relate that to my mom not being there. And because I was doing that, I was only holding my, myself back or putting myself more in a depressed-like state. State like I couldn't even watch NBA games or college games where people you know doing little um, stories on their mom, their mom relationship, and you know 
So it was kind of always tough to watch. And when I would see it, it would only hurt me and make me feel like I want to cry, make me feel like I need to, um, you know, go out and just do something stupid. But at the end of the day, I had to properly deal with my anger, I had to properly deal with my mom not being there. And I had to face the fact like, hey, this is my situation. This is how I got to deal with. This is what I had to deal with, you know. So now as tw at 29, I can go see my mom and yes, she, he can't talk to me, but we can watch comedy together and she can laugh looking at the TV, you know, and I can find joy in that versus saying, hey, she, at least I'm able to go see her because there are people in this world who, who, who mom has gone on and, you know, crossed over to the, to the, to the next step with God. So I had learned to be appreciative of her and you know and forgive god you know and then in turn i had to forgive myself once i understood where my anger was coming from you know so yeah man so today's topic man is called no escape man you know you have to face your problems you have to you have to forgive people who have hurt you you have to you know and then forgive yourself also you know you're not going to be perfect you know you, you know and everything i believe happens happens on its own time you know thank you know thank god that you know, we're, we're here and we're able to wake up and, and be blessed. But, you know, things take time also. But, yeah. So, thank you guys for tuning in um, to my uh, to my channel today. Hope you guys have a blessed week, man. It's the top of the month, man. Have a blessed month, man. See you guys next week.